Bad Boys for Life. This third awful young men's film begins with investigators Mike Lowry, Will Smith, and Marcus Burnett, Martin Lawrence, speeding through the roads of Miami with different police following them. They show up at an emergency clinic and run inside as they head to the room where Marcus' little girl Megan, Bianca Bethune, has brought forth a child kid. His better half Teresa, Therese Randall, and Megan's life partner Reggie, Dennis Green, are there too, illuminating Marcus that the kid is named after him. He gladly holds his grandson. In a Mexican jail, prisoner Isabella Reda's, Kate Del Castillo, is murmuring a mantra that draws a gatekeeper's consideration. Isabel gets a blade off the gatekeeper and cuts her, with different prisoners bouncing in and cutting her to death. Different watchmen take Isabel outside, just for her child Armando, Jacob Scipio, to help her kill off the wide range of various gatekeepers. He liberates her, and they return to their home to plot vengeance in the interest of her late spouse Benito, with Mike being their planned last objective Armando goes to the docks to take out a container loaded up with cash with aim to work with different hoodlums, however these criminals attempt to screw him over and take the larger part portions of the cash. With their firearms drawn on Armando, he fights back by wounding everybody quickly. He then arranges the excess men to move forward assuming they wish to work steadfastly under his loved ones. A hoodlum named Lorenzo Rodriguez, otherwise known as Zuelo, Nicky Jam, goes along with him Mike and Marcus kindred officials, including Commander Howard, Joe Pantoliano, accumulated a bar to observe Marcus turning into a granddad. They experience a lady named Rita, Paula Nunez, who has recently been elevated to lieutenant and is likewise Mike's ex. She illuminates them that she is likewise now heading ammunition, high-level Miami Metro tasks, which utilizes a more youthful group of officials. Marcus realizes they are becoming excessively old for every one of the insane things they used to get into, and he encourages Mike to settle down, however he conflicts. The two go outside to have a foot race, and as Mike starts to lead the pack, Armando rides up on a bike and destroys Mike. He moves away as the officials hurry to help Mike, Mike is in basic condition. Marcus implores God that Mike be saved, with the commitment that Marcus won't ever bring any longer brutality into the world. Rita and Howard then request ammunition Kelly, Vanessa Hudgens, Dorn, Alexander Ludwig, and Rafe, Charles Melton, to give their very best examine Mike's shooter. In the meantime, Isabel chastens Armando for pursuing Mike unexpectedly early, as she purposely believes him should pass on last so he endures watching others kick the bucket. They continue to pursue an appointed authority, a legal sciences examiner, and an investigator, killing them all without really trying to hide. A half year after the fact, Megan and Reggie get hitched, and Mike has recuperated from his wounds. He conveys a discourse at the wedding before later requesting that Marcus assist him with getting the shooter, yet Marcus declines, dreading another person will get injured, and he demands that he is resigned. In the wake of learning Mike is conscious, Armando transfers his body cam film of him shooting Mike. He goes to Rita for help but on the other hand is met with a similar refusal, Mike willingly volunteers to track down his shooter. He visits a resigned criminal named Manny the Butcher, DJ Khaled, and beats his hand with a sledge until he surrenders the name of a person named Booker Grassy, Rory Markham, who might have data on the proprietor of the bike, and consequently the shooter. Mike goes to Commander Howard, who hesitantly has him oblige ammunition to track down Grassy. Mike rapidly clashes with Rafe since he's a brilliant ass, yet Kelly and Dorn regard Mike's status as an investigator, Mike and the group go to a distribution center where Grassy will make a drop. Mike rapidly gets that Grassy is attempting to rip the folks off and will wind up dead. A shootout starts, and Mike attempts to get Grassy out of there, yet subsequent to warding off different hooligans, Grassy is unceremoniously passed up a blast and is speared by a forklift. He kicks the bucket before Mike can get any data out of him. Marcus gets a call from a narc named Carver Remy Yvo Nandi, who guarantees that Armando is following him and attempting to kill him. He asks Marcus for help, who then, at that point, attempts to contact Mike, however he disregards Marcus since he considers him to be a weakling. In the end, Mike gets and joins Marcus in going to track down Remy, however when they get to his inn, Remy's body hits Marcus, really Teresa's, vehicle. Mike runs into the inn and battles Armando, figuring out how to pull his veil off yet ending up paralyzed when he sees Armando's face. He figures out how to move away, Mike later joins Howard at a game, where the two bond as Howard communicates his certified concern and care for Mike. As they are leaving, a projectile strikes Howard in the throat. Armando and Zuelo are behind it, 
however since Mike realizes he is on display, he pulls Howard away and stays behind a vehicle, offering Armando no unmistakable chance. Mike attempts to resuscitate Howard, however he bites the dust. After his burial service, Marcus authoritatively chooses to join Mike in getting the shooter. Mike and Marcus head out to find an obscure representative named Picante Jenkins, cheerful Anderson, for a lead on their shooter. They go into Jenkins' in room where he is coked crazy. Marcus attempts to speak to him on an individual level, however it just gets him punched hard. Ammunition before long comes in, with Marcus having called them, and they taste Jenkins to the ground. In the wake of getting Jenkins' records, they perceive Zuelo and plan to follow him next. The group goes to a club where they track down Zuelo. Subsequent to endeavoring to capture him, he runs for it, and the group should battle his hooligans. Mike and Marcus bounce on a cruiser and sidecar, with Marcus breaking his guarantee to God and utilize an automatic rifle to fend off the approaching hooligans. They ride into the roads to seek after Zuelo, who then, at that point, endeavors to board a chopper stepping stool. Mike runs off and locks onto the stepping stool also. Armando shoots Zuelo off to have a superior chance at Mike. He tells him hasta el fuego before Mike gives up and falls into the water back at Central Command. Mike has Dorn look into documents in light of the expression Armando said. Mike acknowledges Isabel is behind all of this. He clears up for Marcus that before they collaborated, he was profound secret in the Aretas cartel and he had a relationship with Isabel before he needed to toss her behind bars and destroy her better half. Hasta el fuego was an expression they concocted that was unreasonable however should actually imply together until the fire wears out. She was likewise intensely into witchery, which gave her the moniker La Bruja. Mike infers that Armando is his child and that she has been prepping him for retribution, since every one of the casualties were on a similar body of evidence against the Aretas family. Subsequent to acknowledging he knows reality, Isabel contacts Mike and sorts out for him to meet her in Mexico City to end things, the group heads to Mexico for the last standoff, with Isabel requesting Mike to meet them in an old castle. They participate in a firefight against Isabel's hired fighters, with the ammunition officials demonstrating their abilities with firearms, as well as truly for Dorn's situation. Marcus then, at that point, kills an expert rifleman chopper, making it come crashing down to the structure and lighting a fire. Armando goes to battle Mike, yet he chooses to face him personally and uncover his parentage to Armando. He inquires as to whether it's valid, and she concedes that it is. She attempts to shoot Mike, yet Armando steps in the way and takes the slug in the shoulder. Rita then, at that point, shoots Isabel off the edge to her demise, sending her diving into the blazing destruction. Marcus nearly falls over as well, however Armando assists Mike with pulling him up and get them out of there. Later in, the group is improving and they celebrate as Rita has been elevated to turn into the new commander. Mike and Marcus then, at that point, bond with child Marcus, singing the terrible young men melody to him before the credits roll, Mike visits Armando in jail, offering him an opportunity to compensate for his violations. Armando has all the earmarks of being intrigued.